The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. Good morning to you, Brian Martin, right there with We Ride. Good stuff from the newcomer. I like, I like that it. very much. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've been kind of talking about AI throughout the morning here. It actually came up with our uh, entertainment news earlier this morning, mm-hmm. and then we learned about some other other things. That, but it still seems like the future stuff. Um, so it's a little bit scary as to how fast it's arriving. Yeah. You know, well, the 61 year old German man named Michael Bomber, he has terminal cancer, and he's leaving behind an AI version of himself for his family. Wow. Uh, I know, kind of creepy sounding, but here's here's the deal. He's the first customer for a service called Internos, which creates your own AI double. He's been training an AI to act just like him and carry on after he's passed away. So you talk to this AI bot and you tell it your thoughts and your memories, and it learns to mimic your personality and your voice and can even generate new ideas similar to what you might think up. They ask him... 150 questions about himself and his life, and he spent several weeks answering them at length. And the point is to give your family something to interact with once you're gone. Wow. I wonder if that helps with people who are grieving, especially <clears throat> with the a departed um, spouse. Well, I don't know. Uh, there may be a couple of sides to, to the issue there. I mean, on its face, you're thinking, wow, what a, what a great idea. You can kind of hear what grandpa would think about such and such an issue but on the other hand you can't move on there's there's a you have to have some closure when you're grieving a death of a family and this is something that might slow that process down i agree um they because you're living in the past yeah and you can't live in the past you need to move forward you know and it's not it's not cheap so it's, it's between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. Wow! But that's a one-time cost, and your family will never have to pay anything down the road. Uh, but there is already a wait list. People are already signing up for this thing. Wow! Wow! That's pretty cool, though, uh, and it's very interesting. I'm sure it'll spark a lot of conversations in families. What are your thoughts? Can you go ahead and text us at nine three six two nine five forty one and two, or you can also leave back your talkback a button that we have featured on yeah. our app. Yeah, if you go to the KSAM mobile app, if you look down at the bottom of uh, the little menu buttons, you'll see the one that says "Talk to Us." Tap that, and you can send us a little uh, up to thirty second uh, voice uh, message uh, telling us what your thoughts about yourself being left behind as an AI voice for your family. What do you think about that? And on our community spotlight this morning, it is National Public Works Week. So you think about your utility workers who are out there working the uh, electric lines and the plumbing lines and the sewer lines and the water lines and, of course, the uh, solid waste and the trash folks. Uh, We cannot have as fine a life as we do without them. That's right. I agree. <clears throat> they yeah. do the dirty jobs that no one sees, and they deserve a big thank you for it. Yes, their responsibility in- includes uh, keeping the infrastructures of our communities running and humming along smoothly. And uh, we sure uh, do appreciate all of their hard work. So a big thank you to all of our local public works teams for your important profession. Uh, we have some information about them, of course, over on our Hometown Happenings page. Yes, go to ksam1017.com. And our community spotlight is brought to you by Wiesner of Huntsville. Chase Matthew and love you again on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. Also got some cane brand and jelly roll right around the corner too. Carlos with you on the Midday Show. Read about this this morning. Boy, is this gnarly in a proper way. Not not really a proper way. Anyway, I don't know why I said gnarly. Anyway, a 26-year-old female veterinarian says that she was just starting a new job last week when they had someone bring in a very sick puppy. They did an x-ray and realized that the dog had eaten something that had become caught in its system. They performed an emergency surgery and pulled out the obstruction. And it was a thong. They told the owner and she didn't understand because she didn't own a thong. Oh boy. She called her husband and apparent husband and apparently the revelation that it was another woman's came to the surface while they were on the phone. That's right. Oh boy. And the vet says she felt terrible for the woman because it was a horrible way to find out. Not to mention the stress over the dog which could have passed away if it had not had the thong removed in time. The dog's gonna be just fine. Their marriage? Oh, I don't know about that. Lori Morgan and Dear Me. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. 
Carlos with you on the Midday Show. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. And I read about this this morning. A uh, new poll asked people, quote, Is it unacceptable for someone to take home a pen from a hotel room they've stayed in? Hmm. 39% of people say it's always acceptable to swipe the pen. And maybe that makes sense. They're usually branded with the hotel's name, so maybe most places consider it complimentary mark, complimentary marketing. Complimentary. Goodness gracious. 32% of people say it depends on the hotel, and 18% of people consider it always unacceptable. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Another poll asked if it's cool to take home the pen that a restaurant server gives you to sign the bill. 8% of people said that it's always acceptable to steal it from the check folder thing. 24% said it depends on the restaurant. 52% consider it always unacceptable. See, now, the amount of hotel pens I have in my apartment is, in, is uncanny. But I would never steal from the restaurant. They need those. Who knows how many of those they have in the back? Probably plenty, but still, don't do it. One Bad Habit, Tim McGraw on your hometown radio station. 101.7 KCM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast coming up here in just a few moments. So let me ask you, do you share a car with somebody, like right now? Uh, if so, number one, make sure you leave the radio right here on KCM. Exactly, okay? Don't let If they want to change it, let them change it. But leave it on KCM when you get out, right? So here's the deal. Somebody polled 2,000 married couples who share a car and asked them for the most annoying things about getting into the car after someone else uses it, i.e. your significant other, right? Uh, some of the things that they found they did that this just irritants was, uh, let's see, having to move the seat forward or back. Uh, top complaint by far. Uh, newer cars, of course, we know they have presets, but older cars don't. How about uh, having to readjust the mirrors? Oh, I remember that. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, hard to get everything exactly how you like it yet again. Oh, and here's a favorite. How about leaving you with an empty gas tank? Wondering if you're going to be able to make it to, to fill up or not, right? Yeah, it happened many, many times. Uh, and uh, one other thing, okay? Uh, let's see here. Leaving a mess behind. It, oh, that's just an irritant more than anything else, isn't it? Don't you think? Jackson Dean on 101.7 Key sampling today's best country and all of your favorites. So I talked about this yesterday on the midday show when I was filling in for Carlos to kick off a Memorial Day weekend. But for those of you who may have missed that, let's rehash it again. Talking about Memorial Day cookouts, they may be a little more expensive than they were last year. Consumer Affairs looked at how much a seven barbecue staple costs now compared to 2023. And it's a 10% bump. It was $27.39 a year ago. And now it'll cost you $30.18. Most of that is because hamburger meat prices are up, but nothing on the list is cheaper than what it was in 2023. They compared data from over 150,000 stores across the country and looked at what you need for a basic cookout with burgers and hot dogs. So here are all seven items for that cookout and what they'll cost the average American this year. Number one on the list, eight burgers, basically eight burger patties. $8.07, up 15%. Burger buns, $3.06, up 1%. This is this next item is the only one that actually did not change. It did not go up. It did not go down. It stayed the exact same from last year. Eight all beef hot dog wieners, three dollars and fifteen cents. The same price last year as it is this year. Speaking of hot dogs, eight hot dog buns, three dollars and nine cents, just up one percent, just like the burger buns. Number five, a thirty-two ounce bottle of ketchup is up two percent at five dollars and fifty-three cents. A 20 ounce bottle of mustard is up 3% at $2.61. But this is the one that absolutely takes the cake. A 26 ounce bottle of relish is up to $4.67. Or in other words, a 49% price hike. There's apparently a big pickle shortage thanks to the extreme weather that is happening out in Mexico. So I guess that would have something to do with it. But even then, 49% higher? That is, that's just, that's wild. Thank goodness I don't like relish. <laughs>